Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iPads. So of course there are a lot of things that you can do on an iPad, but now with the release of iPadOS 16, which is actually iPadOS 16.1, you can do a lot more. So in this video, I will show you guys 16 things that you can do on iPadOS 16. All right, first of all, when you're writing a text, whether you're writing it on notes or anywhere on iPadOS, you're using maybe the markup tool or an Apple pencil. There is a very cool feature. So let's just try this out. Let's just write something here. So here's what you can do with this feature. So you can see this text is not straight. You can write a lot more there like sentences and all you have to do is of course select it and then tap here and from the menu you swipe like this and you can tap on straighten and it will automatically straighten the text for you. That's super super useful. If you like type actually writing with an Apple pencil or just using the markup tools this will make a huge difference. Take a look at this view right here on my iPad. You can now actually change this to have more space while you're working on your iPad. Here's how it works. Head on to the settings and go right here to display and brightness. Scroll all the way down and go to display zoom and you will have now an option for more space. Now what this basically does, it just shrinks everything on the screen so it gives you more space on your device. So tap done right there and just wait for it to actually complete and change to more space. You can see right here we have the result. You can see it will basically just shrink everything, make icons smaller, everything smaller. It just gives you more space on your iPad. It actually looks like it's a bigger iPad than it actually is and I really really like this new feature. And finally we have a weather app on the iPad. It's really interesting how Apple works and how they don't add certain apps to the iPad like a calculator app it's still not here but here we have finally the weather app and this is how it looks. So you will have the weather of course the city right there at the top and then you will have here all the details you need to know like the radar you will have the rain here you will have the 10 day forecast and then all the other details you need to know. Now tapping on the sidebar right there you can search for any city or airport and you will have a list of all the cities that you have added and of course you can switch between them directly from here. And not just the weather app, you can also now have a weather widget on the home screen of your iPadOS 16 device. So there it is, it is a bigger one, of course you can tap and hold here. If you want to switch to a different city, tap on edit widget and choose your location. But here it is, it will show you the forecast for the next few hours. And of course the forecast for the next 5 days, really cool, it's very similar to the iOS one. And now finally you can have it on the home screen of your iPad. A lot of people know a lot of tricks on their iPhone but they don't know that they also work on the iPad like this one right here. When taking a screenshot on your iPad what you can do now with iPadOS 16 of course you don't want to have a ton of different screenshots on your photo library if you just need it once. All you have to do is just tap the dumb button and tap on copy and delete. This automatically deletes the screenshot from your device but you will still have it copied on your clipboard if you just need to send it on a message or share it anywhere. Now here is one really cool thing you can do with photos on Safari on iPadOS 16. So if you're searching a photo and that photo actually has a subject, you can now, just like you do on the Photos app, you can 3D touch on it and tap on copy subject. What that will do is that it will remove the background from the photo and you can just copy the subject of that photo like you can see it right here. We just did that, copied only the subject from the photo on Safari. Now you can do the same on the Files app as well. When you have a photo saved on the Files app, all you have to do is just 3D touch on it and it allows you to actually remove the background from that photo. Tap on Quick Actions right here and you will have the option to actually remove the background from the photo and it will save it as a separate photo here without the background included. On the Files app with iPadOS 16, you can now view and change the extensions of files. Like if I just tap right there, I can tap on view options and choose whether I want to show extensions or not. Like you can see this file right here, if I tap there, I can go ahead and change this to PNG. 
and you can see just like that i can use png and convert this photo right on the spot another way to convert photos on ipad os 16 all you have to do is just switch the touch in it and tap on quick actions from here you can convert the image or even create a PDF out of that image. But if you tap on convert image, you will have a few options. So you can see right here, three different formats to which you can actually convert this image. Another great feature on the files app is the ability to optimize the file size. So if you have files that are bigger in size, 3D touch on them, tap on quick actions, and you will have the option to optimize the file size, and then it will convert it to a file size that is of course way smaller. Stage Manager is of course one of the best new features of iPadOS 16. You can enable it by going to your settings, home screen and multitasking and enable it right here. Or what you can do is go to control center under settings and add it to your control center is this one right here. Then what you will be able to do is enable or disable it directly from the control center. But here's a really cool trick. If you actually 3D touch on this, it will give you the option to change the view. So you can see you can hide the recent apps and right there you can show or hide the dock. You can actually do that directly from the control center. iPadOS 16 also brings hybrid dictation, which means that I can type and dictate at the same time. So just like this, this is note so as you can see just like that we can dictate and also type at the same time and this right here is also very very useful it's on the ipad as well and it's called automatic verification what it allows you to do by enabling is that it will skip different captures and basically things that you have to do on the internet to verify that you're a human you probably run into those every day on the internet this will actually just bypass those simply by enabling it here simply go to your apple id on your settings password and security then go ahead and enable it here moving on to notes head on to the settings go to notes and go under password and now what you can do is use the device passcode as a passcode for your notes so you no longer have to set a custom passcode for your notes whenever you're taking a note and you want to lock it now you can use the same password that you use to actually unlock your ipad and one thing Siri can do now on iphone and ipad with ipad os 16 and ios 16 is actually reboot the device you don't have to search for a reboot button on the settings app simply ask Siri reboot my ipad just to confirm you no problem and just and just like that, you can tap on it and it will reboot your iPhone. Last but not least, we're talking about focus modes and now we have focus filters. This is really, really cool. So if you go to one of the focus modes, now you can actually add filters. So you will find it right here at the bottom. You can tap on add filter and you can add filters like calendar, mail, messages, and Safari. And you will have also system filters, which are low power mode and appearance. So if you want to have, let's say low power mode on with a certain type of focus, you can go ahead and add that filter here, or maybe appearance, or just choose a set of tabs on Safari or whatever you want to do. You can now do that from the settings of focus modes. So that is it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and all the cool things that you can do now on your iPad running iPadOS 16. Thank you guys for watching the video, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on the video, I'll see you on the next one.